nitty gritties. Yes. Nairobi has had a problem of water from time immemorial. It has not improved. How will you improve the water situation in that Nairobi? That is actually false. At independence, Nairobi was water, water secure. That's completely false. In the 70s, Nairobi was completely water sufficient. Even when I joined the University of Nairobi in 1986, Nairobi was completely water sufficient. So do we have a water problem right now? Right now, but not from time immemorial. You see, your question is grounded on a falsehood. All right, so, let, me, so, let, me, so, let me let me let me no, correct let me that. Miguna, you, you ask the question and answer the question. I guess No, you... no, no. You are used to mediocre leaders that you can bamboozle and you can't do I that. I think you're the one who's used to bamboozling no, 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 no. and bulldozing, no, but it's okay. I'm answering your questions. I'm at your studio and I'm not going to be shafted. So let me answer you. Okay. Let, no, me... let me answer you. Let me answer you. Your premise is wrong. Nairobi has not had a water problem since time immemorial. This is a recent phenomenon. And it is a recent phenomenon brought about by poor leadership. Recent is relative, but, but carry on. Listen to me, my friend. I'm answering your question. It is a recent phenomenon brought by poor leadership. You don't want to admit that. Because Nairobi has enough rain, UNESCO has said Kenya, Nairobi included, has enough rainfall that can provide sufficient supply of water for everything, including agriculture and irrigation, for 213 million people. So we are more than, there is more than enough water. Secondly, they say there is a high water table in Nairobi, which means there is water underneath, which all you need to do is just dig enough boreholes and be able to treat this water and supply it to residents. It's not happening because the perennial perpetrators of corruption like Hidero Evans and Sonko and PK have looted all this money and become billionaires instead of using this to supply water to residents. I say so because for the last five years, you've had a, a governor. He has not done anything about water. So we have cholera in Nairobi. You've had a senator whose role is to make sure that the county government delivers water, and he has done squat. Then Peter Kenneth has been in government and has been an MP before. So he can't say, he can't extricate himself that he has not held public office at the elective level. So what I'm saying is this. If you have a leader with a plan, with a vision, with a manifesto and programs like I do, and then that leader has integrity and is not going to steal public resources, water will be supplied. So where will the water come from? You mentioned we have a water table. That still doesn't answer where the water will come from. Does that mean drilling boreholes? Uh, you've also mentioned that uh, we have perennial rain and it floods. You've not told us whether I it's going to be harvested. I did not say that we have perennial rains and it floods. I think you are answering your own question. All right. Yeah. I what, say what, we what, have enough rain, according to UNESCO, that can supply semantics, more... Semantics. Than, no, please, please. Allow me... Give, extend me courtesy. Can you also extend the same courtesy? No, no, no. I'm answering asking your for. question. Please. True, but can you also extend the same courtesy? Mr. Getonga, I'm going to answer your question. I'm also there asking, is, can you extend the same courtesy? You can argue all you want. There is enough rainfall that can supply 213 million residents. It's not happening right now because of corruption. In Gaberon, the capital city of Botswana, water that supplies Gaberon residents come from somewhere called Friend City, which is 400 kilometers away from Gaberon. All right? So you don't even have to need water within the vicinity, the geographic boundaries of the city. In Tel Aviv, there is no water like here. It is a desert, but it supplies all its residents with enough water. Water is not a question of rain. It's not a question of water table. It's a question of a visionary leadership that is going to use public resources to supply its citizens with what they need. So even if we have to get water from Lake Victoria up to here, we can because we have enough resources. But I'm telling you that we are lucky that we have enough rainfall and we have a high water table. And that can be done and it will be done under Amiguna uh, governorship. It will be done. So the how-to is 
how does that help us? How does that give us water? If right now we are on a water table that is high, yeah. like you've said, yeah. how does that give us water? What is it that you're going to do under your government to ensure that that water table is not just under us, but comes to a point where it can serve our so, water needs? So which needs? means you did not even uh, understand my, my answer. So I will repeat it. I said that you, you can bore holes and extract the water, clean it, and supply it to the people. Treat it <coughs> and supply it to the people. That's number one. You can do that. Mm -hmm. You hadn't said that, but carry on. No, I did. I okay. did. You go and watch the clip. <laughs> you will find that answer. Carry on, carry on. By the way, my memory is crystal clear. I remember carry exactly on. what I have said. Carry on. So don't try to, to bring in a mischief. Number two, I will harvest the, the rainwater. We have more than enough for 213 million people. That will be harvested, it will be kept in reservoirs, it will be treated, and we, it will be supplied to residents. In fact, you can even supply it to neighboring counties for agriculture, irrigation, and whatnot. So what I'm trying to tell you is this. What we lack are leaders of integrity that can do this because they are using all the money, public money, that should be used for doing this, they're stealing it. And I'm saying I will not steal it. But, but you're arguing instead of listening to my answers. Okay, let's talk about traffic. Another problem we have